am a credential McKenzie therapist. Uh, which what that means is I've done four courses. Um, there's part A, part B, part C, part D. I'll go through those later. Um, and then I've done an examination to credential myself. Um, that just means that uh, I can be classified as a McKenzie practitioner anywhere in the world. Um, that was all done in New Zealand back in 99, a long, long time ago. Um, and like I said, I'll come through those courses and uh, we'll talk about who's been to one, that sort of thing. Um, first, I just want to go through a few questions to get an idea of what you guys know about it. Um, so when I'm explaining it, you sort of, but I know if you understand or not. Um, who knows what McKenzie Method actually is? As I said, as I said to you, Timbo, all I know about McKenzie is, is repeated extension, okay. supposed anterior placement of posteriorly displaced discs, yeah, that's right. and the four McKenzie exercises that made him millions of dollars. Alright. What, uh, has anyone done any of the courses before? No. Alright. Um, does everyone know what all the McKenzie exercises are that they give, that patients are given? There's extension line, pauses. Extension line. standing. Extension standing. You guys? Yep. Extension line. So yeah, you got it. You got it. Any others, guys? Okay. Do you guys ever use not the exercises, but using a McKenzie way of treating people when you treat people? Not at all. Do you guys therefore, you, but you guys use some of the exercises during a treatment or just for homework? A bit of both. Okay. Um, what we'll go through today, and what you'll start working out is. Um, realizing what the exercises are doing to the body and therefore why you use them. It's not simply just a mechanism of using extension lying or using flexion just because they can do it or you think that that's what they should do. It's working out why they should be doing it based on their pain, what happens to their pain through what we call repeated movement testing which I'll go through, um, but also understanding what happens to the body's tissues when they do when you do that, which gives you a basis of why you're giving it, because you've got to justify why you're giving it something. Um, so basically this in service is dedicated on how, why and what for McKenzie, rather than just sort of using a few exercises. Um, and the way that McKenzie does it, the way I'm going to give it to you today, is get you sort of thinking about the patient's problem, not just here's a textbook of you must do these exercises for this sort of patient. It'll give you an understanding of you know, here's your database of exercises you could do, but the main thing is working out from a history, from an examination, working out the diagnosis using your history and your examination properly, and then working out the treatment option from then. Okay. Um, it'll make you understand what you're looking for in a patient history. We're going to go through a patient history just briefly today, um, and then use that to give you scope for an examination which will then collect your information for a provisional diagnosis. Um, once you've got your diagnosis, then we'll construct a bit of a management plan, treatment plan for our mock patient. 